jeez. Oh my goodness. Okay, everybody, I had some technical difficulties. I believe I missed an interaction with Wit and badge number 41. It's hard to say. It really is. Uh, I have two half hour videos uh, as part of the series. That means we're approaching. Whoa. Uh, probably noon. We're close to noon. A lot of activity over there. Uh, we're going to go talk to our friends at Community Mental Health. Um, I um, have to approach Officer Yad, and I believe that's her. It, it, it might not be. Um, there's two of them. They look similar to each other. Um, Yadin was in 16 or 17 last we saw. And we have Unit 12 here with the female officer. With her. She just looks the same. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Okay, we got a walk sign here. Let's see if I, if I got my weight correct. Uh, we're doing all right. Okay. Still gotta kind of grab it once in a while. We got a walk sign. So let's see how we do when we're walking. Cool. Cool. Okay. I'm still masked up from having gone into the hospital. Nah. I was here with my other grandma, my mom's mom, and she pulled out this way and the one way going that way. And then she's like, oh no, I have to turn left. And there was oncoming traffic. I'm like, grandma, just turn right, just turn right. So that was, uh, it was fun. I'm going to go ask Chief first if, um, if I can sit in the driver's seat of Unit 13. We're, we're going to ask. So, oh, there's Baker. Chief is busy, so. Hi. Officer Baker, yes, sir, you know what I've never done before? Is sit in the driver's seat of one of these things. Have at it. Really? Oh, <laughs> I didn't think there was a snowball's chance in heck, man. I'll let you do the honors. That's usually how it goes. That's fine by me. Wow. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Is your camera going? You want me to get a shot of you in there? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, if you just hold on to this, this is the, gotcha. the base. This one is a gotcha. weighted stabilizer, but it's still wow. You got it. Oh man. <laughs> you guys. Woo. I feel powerful. Uh, it, they're, they're nice cars though. That's a brand new one. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. It's comfortable up here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now this isn't. This spotlight. That that just you can operate the angle and stuff with the. Oh, okay. And then that little thumb switch turns it on. So the uh, same one operates the same over there. And this is the radar unit. Yep. So that sends out what's the radar cone, if you will. So that uh -huh. sends it out, and then it receives the signal from that. You get the reading on this. So like your target speed would be your vehicle, and then you get like your your vehicle speed here. So oh, okay, and that's where it's calibrated. Correct. Yeah. When when you start shift and end shift, we have to do a test to make every it time. Every time. Every time. Yep. And even so, like on our dailies, when we log in, it asks us, did you you know make sure that you tested your radar before and after shift? So that's how you make sure that they're calibrated. I got out of a ticket because. Kentucky well, you, you State have Troopers to, yeah. only did it once a month, and I'm no, like, this calibration is from three weeks ago. Every shift. And, and then you even have to check, like, like you'll watch to make sure, like, part of the LED, like, the light isn't burned out. If the light's burned out, it's out of service. So we have to check. You have to, system. and then you yep. write that on a clipboard somewhere. It gets put right in the system. Yeah. yeah. So we, we check it every shift. So uh, Deputy Garza out in Fort Gratiot, he, uh, he explained that it only works at, for oncoming traffic. So, well... Yes, and so you can change your the, the direction, if you will. So, like, um, and it depends on the unit, the uh, the controller. But you can change if the tra if you want target vehicle coming towards you or going away. Okay. You can change it. His may just only read one way. Maybe. Depending on the model. This one you can change. You know, you can change the direction if you want target a vehicle coming towards you or away. And a lot of times you see the arrows on the screens. 
toward in a way. So it'll show yeah. you it'll right show you there. the speed, and then it'll show you if the vehicle's heading away or going towards. Okay. Um, That's this, really neat. And this vehicle as well has rear radar. You're the first one to be able to actually explain this. Oh, the yeah. radar. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm not I'm not an instructor or nothing, but it's it's you know you have to go through the course and you know, um, but that's basically what it is. Models are different, but. Yes, the, in this particular instance, ours can be towards and away. Anyway. And we but not also, going past? No, you won't get, the, the way the radar reads, that's why the positioning of the vehicle is, is kind of critical. If you're too far angled, you're not going to get an accurate speed. So that's why you'll see them facing with traffic or away and usually parallel as we can be because it, it will distort the speed if you're too much of an angle. Sure. So, you, so when I see you and you're facing that way mm -hmm. and cars going back and forth, you're not in a speed trap, you're being visible. You're, you're more or less a deterrent at that point. Now, yes and no, lasers, we have laser radar, oh. which is the one that they'll look through like a sight. So we have lasers as well, where I could be sitting like this, and obviously I'm not gonna run radar on those, but you could essentially be changing your position and laser a vehicle with the laser radar and would tell you the speed and not using this equipment. Oh, okay, so, and that's more of a manual? Correct, and that unit's not in the car, we bring it out with us. Oh, okay. So. So I'm not, I can't say that just because we're positioned one way doesn't mean we're not doing speed enforcement because they may be running laser, they may not be. When I approached uh, Deputy Garza, he was, uh, his wasn't on. Mm -hmm. He was facing, you know, cross direction traffic. Mm -hmm. uh, he just wanted to be present. Yeah. He was letting uh, his presence be known. Yep. It's my grandma's neighborhood up there on North River Road too. Okay. So like yeah. I really appreciate uh, those kinds of things. And you know. a lot of it, like, like you said, is, is just the, the sight of a police vehicle, people automatically will look down at their speedometer and slow down or adjust. Sure, yeah, it's but happened he, he to me. Could be lo he could be watching other things, seatbelt enforcement, cell phone usage, things like that. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a there's It's a Distracted Driving Awareness Month so as you, well. You get all kinds of things we're watching for. But with radar, yeah, positioning is, is, is a big component of that. Now, you said there's a, another, uh, ra uh, another radar in the rear? Another radar cone here. Oh, okay. So this one you can change which radar you're using. So a lot of times, um, you'll see, you know, I'll use an example like uh, you know, you're, say you're parked this way. Um, you know, we're, we're running radar on Pine Grove. Obviously, we'd be a lot closer. Okay. But say necessarily a vehicle is coming southbound and we're facing northbound, and we're we're getting their speed and maybe they're doing the speed limit. But then they get past us, and, and they, they want. To... <laughs> and they, start, they start amping it up. Yeah. We can change to a rear radar. Oh, now... did you hear that, everybody? You got to now... take notes. Don't speed. <laughs> so the, the caveat is, is don't speed, obviously. But yes, we have the ability because sometimes we have situations where the road may be designed that we can't run front radar. So we may have to position our vehicle accordingly. That's where the rear radar comes in because we can position and still do speed enforcement and not necessarily have to use the No, you ought to just get the Tesla cars. <laughs> yes, if we could afford They got seven cameras on them. Oh well, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's just a, a caveat of technology in those. But no, we have, uh, we have the ability to do front and rear radar and directional so we can, vehicles coming away and you know going towards us. And then, then you have the, well you don't, you said it's not in here, but you'll have a handheld laser. There is a, yeah, agencies do have laser radars, which we do have them, but we don't have them in every vehicle. We'll go out and do laser enforcement on certain days where um, you'll see it too, like down south, you see the, uh, the motorcycle cops or whatever, and they're leaning over the front of the bike with looking through something, that's a laser. Okay. So, yeah. There's a lot of technology out there that we use for speed enforcement. Yeah, I'd love to check that one out so, uh, yeah. another day. Maybe. Yep, and that's that, that's back at the office, like I, like I mentioned. Well, that, that, wow. I sat in the driver's seat of this thing. I think these guys want to yeah. turn. I'll let you have at it. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Thanks. No, I have to go approach Nada. Okay, so we got to sit in the driver's seat. That is a comfortable ride. You know how you get in the driver's seat of a car and it's comfortable. Uh, well, this valve is still here. And oh, I think I think that was 22. Ah, uh, Hayden might have left. And thank goodness. Really, I 
I felt comfortable until I noticed she was here and now she's gone. Oh no, she's there. Okay, so she's in 12. Winton is gone. Winton was in... We'll, we'll review the video. But I think we need another water. These guys just ain't letting up at all. I wanted to bring Cricket. I think my grandma's going to come though. I think grandma's going to show up, you guys. I better... Um... A blue water transparency. This is what it looks like when I'm checking text messages. Grandma sent me a picture of um, prints that she found on her Facebook today. That's cool. I'm going to ask her if she's on her way. It would help if I had my emotional support animal and my grandma here when I was talking to Yaden because of the nature of our relationship and animosity we have to reconcile. It's hard. It's not easy. Yes, that's my other son. And then you met my mom. Hi, how are you? This isn't easy. I wanted water. Oh, yeah. We're going to follow Dad, okay? Follow Dad. Yeah. Yes. Good job. Yeah. Ready? Bubbles for the road. Yeah. Dad! Sorry about that, you guys. I, I have to have water. You know, I've got to have the water. I, I think we gotta go. Go meet her. is the Adam. She's in 12. That means the one in 16 or 17 at the accident. Uh, yeah. Two of them with white. I don't want to eyes with the Adam. I, I tried. Well, I thought about it. I can say I thought about it. So Baker runs the Facebook page. He got a he got a video of me in the driver's seat. That unit 13, that's my car now. bikes. I should get I should get one. St. Clair Police Department has two. Let's see if Chief Raker will let me ride one. Officer Baker will let me sit in the car seat. <laughs> what a big old baby. What a big old baby. How rude of me to sit in the police car, you guys. That was so rude, wasn't it? The audacity. Of some people. Now Jim didn't 
finish showing us everything that's in the fire truck. Like, I want to climb on that thing. Tell Jim I had a random thought. So, Jim. Yeah. Can I get up there and get an overall shot? <laughs> I don't think I can yeah, let nice you up there. No, not today. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. We can do that in the station some other time, huh? Meeting, we could schedule yeah, a tour of the uh, station. Yeah, you can. Here. You can. I would love to call and do that. Sure. Would I speak yep. to the chief or just anybody at the at the department? Yeah, but you could call like our central station. We usually have a battalion chief on duty there. You can speak with him. And, and we can, can schedule, schedule a tour. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I know all the museum sites are free till at least the end of the year. So I'm going to start at the museum, Okay. the Carnegie yeah, Library, right. and work my way that way right. to all the museum sites. Uh -huh. uh, I'm excited, you know, even if it is, it's saving me two bucks that I don't have to pay. Right. That's a lot of money when, you know, I, I need so. water for free. <laughs> Nobody's paying me to do this. The Times Herald don't want to hire me. What? <laughs> I don't think they can afford it. Uh -huh. Who knows? I don't ever see them out at this, you know? I used to. Yeah. I was on the college newspaper, and then I worked for the Times Herald, did uh, freelancing and, uh -huh. and things. And um, but ever since. And I feel like they'd always be looking for more people. Yeah, they used to, but now there's four. They have, they have an editor, a photographer, and two writers, Laura and and uh, Jackie. Hmm. You know, and they don't answer their emails. I sent them more than a few, and I'm like, I'm well, at this point, it'd be harassment. I better leave them alone. <laughs> But they're all new to me. Uh, you know, Ralph Pavlovich was my photography instructor. He went around with John Brown, hanging out with you guys every day. I'm doing it now, and I'm getting everybody on St. Clair County Facebook pages thinking I'm being rude or something. Because I'll approach Platzer and everybody, and, you know, hey, I'm Roger, and I'm getting to know my law enforcement. And they're like, you don't know what they're up to. They could have trauma. And I'm like, well, I'm... They, every, everything says come stop in and say hi. <laughs> That's what you guys want, you know. And uh, but I think after 10 years of a steady decline in newspaper uh, uh, visibility, yeah. just people aren't used to seeing it anymore. And, and remember, like John, Br I have a book because his name was Brown, John Brown, and he was uh, he was the writer, and Ralph uh, was the photographer, and they'd go around town. They covered the tunnel explosion, uh, the murder at SC4 parking lot, I think in '87. They showed up to the uh, parents of the student to ask them for a statement, and they were the ones who informed them of uh, their, their son's murder, you know. And uh, I, somebody told me, you know, in a private conversation, it's like, well, you know, you don't want to hear that on TV or read about it in the newspaper. And I'm like, but if I don't go find out, how, do, how would you know? How, you know, because when the telephone came, well, you don't, you don't want to call somebody that deserves a house visit and then Facebook comes and that doesn't it doesn't deserve a Facebook post it deserves a phone call and we're back to does it belong in the newspaper and my philosophy is yeah you know? <laughs> but uh, I mean that's what it is and, and good news is no news and that's the best news I think nobody likes the videos where I'm having these positive interactions but like if the sheriff runs off, tells me it's none of my business who his name is, everybody wants to, everybody watches that. I'm, I'm like, well, Wood was really cool. Yeah, <laughs> nope. It seems to be just news in general these days. I think it's always the been that way. That's what gets the clicks, you know. But I try, I, I want to catch um, the good ones, you know. I'm always out looking for the good behavior, and most of the time, everybody's cordial, yeah. you know. Uh, sheriff doesn't want to identify. State trooper wanted to run my plates once. Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> I'm going to let you get at it. Wait, you're giving out stickers? You need one too? Yeah, I think so. I was uh, telling Chief I remember the plastic uh, junior junior police badges. There you go. Oh, yeah. uh, now I get to be a junior firefighter today. Heck yeah. They, they're calling me uh, uh, Deputy Doofy. <laughs> I think I think I'll take it. I'm usually wearing a yellow vest, but we're not on a scene of a emergency today. Oh. <laughs> today. <laughs> but. How fun! Oh wow! I'm still waiting on my grandma. No, she's just uh, out and about today, and I told her that I was going to be here. And she's got uh, her dog Cricket, and she loves people, and I'm her favorite. 
So I thought it'd be cool uh, to have her come down. Because, well, I'll, my grandma used to go to the uh, cancer okay. uh, treatment here. And I would take Cricket up here. I'd let her off the leash. And oh, she'd yeah. just do one big lap, you know. And then we put her back on the leash. And she's really good about that. But she likes being here specifically you know, at the park. So. Hi. Hi. Uh, thank you, Jim. All right, so we don't have a lineup at our community uh, mental health uh, lines on. I don't see Latrell. We did get. Did get. Uh, hello. Hello, how are you? I am having a blast. Good. Baker let me sit in the driver's seat. No way! Yeah. We were hoping that we might be able to drive the special response. Oh, really? The, the tank? Yeah. yeah. That's what's they let me sit in the back. I didn't even think to ask about getting in the front. Yeah! Maybe the next event. Okay. I already did the driver's seat of the patrol unit. I'm pretty, I'm just geeked about that. <laughs> I, uh, Jessica Rose is my case manager and Jennifer is my therapist uh, at Community Mental Health. Oh, okay. Bailey? You're welcome. Anytime. Jessica Wells and, and um, uh, Jennifer Polio. Oh, okay. Awesome. Well, we got some cool stuff if you want a stress ball or some putty. Or even information. Some stickers. This one is interesting. Would you like a bag? Oh boy, yeah, I better get one, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is all connected. I'm sorry. I got one hand. <laughs> yeah, yep, it's kite flying weather. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to stab you. So we have some uh, public information here the address and phone number of the main. West is in K Pack. And I've been to the, uh, I saw the one in Marine City. And then Child and Family Services, my friend goes there on 24th Street. I haven't been. That's cool to know the locations and the contact. Absolutely. We have, um, I think, just a general CMH one over there if you want the information of the locations on the pamphlet. This one? Child? Uh, this one. I think, I think how we help, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll keep that for review. And I'm sure there's a link on the website, too, huh? Oh, my goodness, they're not letting up, are they? <laughs> Would you like some of those? I want one of these, please. I appreciate your help. Oh, you're very welcome. I can kind of set it down. I don't see now I'm messing up because... If I don't have this on, the camera could come off the rig and then fall on the ground. I would have been bad. Yeah. Now it's on my camera, so if the rig drops, I'm okay. My camera's still fine. Yeah, I'm really interested in this. Would you like any stickers? Uh, no. Stickers might, might not work for, for my... I will take a happy face stress ball. I like the yellow ones. Enjoy. Thank you so much. You too. Hi, how are you? Oh, we have candy. I, I like to show. Somebody asked if the cops give me dimes so that I can go get penny candy. Yeah, and I wear a yellow vest. They call me um, Deputy Doofy. Deputy Doofy. Yeah, they're trying to make fun of me for, for doing. Well, do you putting tease you guys. them back? Do you call them the popos? Sometimes it depends. <laughs> if they're rude, I'll call them what they are. And if they're nice, I call them what they are. I, don't know. I, I think uh, they're just joking when they call you Deputy yeah. Doofy or whatever it was. I said. think so. I I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, because uh, the the whole interaction. I think. It promotes discussion in the community of what community policing looks like and how people can interact with police and emergency services. It's actually fabulous because some of our kids okay. with autism, younger, you know, you want to break down that fear, just 
so I was talking to Jennifer. I was telling Jennifer I learned when I was seven years old that I'm going to be afraid of the police. What do you say for the good stuff? And so she's got her five-year-old daughter doing a project yeah. showing how the police are there to help us. It's great. And it is. It really is. Because this is a long time coming from... I'm sorry, I jumped in. That's okay. That's, I appreciate that. Hi. I'm with Michigan Lines for Families. I help support uh, families with special education. Okay. That would be something. Okay. I would be interested in getting some extra speech therapy. So, He's in regular high school, though. He goes okay. to Northern. Great. Mm -hmm. Take my, here's my brochures in here. Okay. And then call me and I can help you uh, walk the steps to get him additional speech. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm just a grandma, but yes, I oh. will. I will. That's great. This is a good start. I know, right? Absolutely. So those are the... Get things started. These are, we have online workshops. What, um, through Zoom on uh, for all these different topics that help educate families on special education issues. Okay. My just fine. It's hard to see if I got anything in focus. Uh huh. The wind is not helping, is it? And the I'm used to looking through the viewfinder and the video. Um, I just got video capability. I've been a photographer for. 18 years. Oh, wow, okay. And uh, I finally got a video camera. I'm learning how that works. Uh, cool. Yeah, that's quite the camera. It, I like it. It's a it's a um, entry model, the Rebel T7. Okay. Um, it, it's pretty basic. 